home and act upon um, even though I've known some of the information that was given today definitely new information has come to life Things that are unseen, things that are inside, the things that are outside, okay? Hey guys, so I'll all count to 20. But you two people can't say the same number and you can't speak to each other. But you can look at each other, but not and let me not give too much away. But you guys just need to kind of like work together with your account to 20, but you both can't say so if two people say the same number at the same time, we have to start from the beginning. Yeah? The beginning of the Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, 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 if you know your skin type, then you can better look after it. Um, what skin type means, I've heard some of you saying I don't know what it is. It's just about how your skin um, retains its moisture. So for some it retains it easily, and that's normal skin, so it will keep that moisture in. So you cream your face in the morning, and you realise that it's still, it's still moisturised. Um, but whereas with your dry skin, it just means your pores are open, and it needs help just trying to shut them down. Okay, so we'll go to the next slide. Does anyone have any questions about that? Or do you guys think, you know, your skin types? Definitely for everyone's face dry here. Yeah. Yeah. So you might benefit from actually using two different, I mean it's a bit more pricey, but you might benefit from using actually drier products for dry skin mm -hmm. and then normal for your teaser. Um, so if you're going to exfoliate, you can just use a bit of bacon, you know bacon soda? Bacon soda and water after with every like maybe weekly or every two weeks, just using that with a bit of water to um, produce a paste, using that feature to cut your skin and it helps reduce the scarring from acne um, and also helps to brighten your face a little bit as well and takes away your skin. <laughs> Sorry, just on what Paige is saying about exfoliating. Um, but be careful because not all skins like abrasive yeah. um, substances, like baking soda is a bit abrasive and a lot of exfoliators are like seeds or stones or whatever, but my skin hates all that so I have to use an acid exfoliator. It doesn't, it's not bad. But um, an acid exfoliator rather than a grainy one. Yeah. Because some, particularly if you're breaking out and you're using a grainy you're exfoliator, just you're just going to break out more. So I guess you're teen, so you're just experimenting, but there is just something to yeah. highlight. So that's But if you go to a restaurant, for example, with your family, you're going to see 
most of these or all of them or maybe just as I said pork and mine. So usually what we do is we have the salad pork and the soup spoon. So it starts from here and then you work your way inside and you get to the main dish which you know is with a fork and a knife and then you move on to the top where you have the dessert fork and the spoon so you can have the dessert with both the fork and the spoon and then on your left you have the bread plate which usually is over here so you have a little mini knife for the butter where you can put on the on the bread and then on the right side you're going to have your glasses so you know you can have two wine glasses obviously when you become, when you become an adult um, and then a water glass so you take your fork and your knife okay so does everybody here in the room do exactly what she did right now or does somebody do it differently <laughs> Not like slouching, Not like this. We're ladies, you know, we have to sit straight, otherwise our back hurts. My back hurts all the time, so if I slouch, it immediately hurts me. So I have to sit straight and wherever you are, if you're standing, if you're sitting, if you're on the left, if you're on the right, wherever, just keep it straight and walk straight. Yeah? So the way they used to do it back in the days, they would get two huge books, literally like this, they would take two books. And I have two books under my armpits like this, and I'm holding the books, and this is how you eat. So you hold the books, and this is literally the space that you have. It's not like like this. We don't like take the whole spot, you know. It's not like this or whatever. You hold the books under armpits, and that's exactly the space you have to eat. Nothing more, nothing less. You take the fork and the knife, and that's how you eat. Basically, I'll just show it once, and then we're gonna do it again. So you come close to the chair, and the back of your knee is going to touch the chair. Yeah. So maybe it's easier if I do it like this so you can see. So you just come close. You touch it, and then you sit. So, you just basically you go, and you touch it. So, that was the very, very strict way of learning how to, yes. Quick question. Yes. You know princesses, you know when they try to walk, like, properly? Yeah. The people that help them, do they put a book on their head, and then they have to come to walk like that? Correct. So that were really the straight. I'm not sure how they do it right now. I'm not going to pretend that I know. But I know that this is how they used to do it, you know, in those eras when you know we have the ballrooms with the princesses, with the nice dresses, with the crinkles. <coughs> so this is how they would teach. They would be taught good manners. Um, now we're going to do the quiz. When is it okay to have your elbows on the table throughout dinner? It's not never. It's not never. <laughs> The thing I enjoyed most was when patients was talking about um, female hygiene because I learned so many new things and I'm going to get to see something like a new girl. <laughs> Enjoy being comfortable with my own tie and feeling like a girl. 